The first, the greatest, and the most sacred institution known to man is that of the home. In the sovereignty and the wisdom of God, it was the home, not the state, school, or even the church that was first created and divinely intended to become the cornerstone of all life. Whenever a man and woman express the desire to become one, it's with the understanding that God has brought the two of them together, and they are thus to build a home under God and for God's glory alone. This couple is expressing to you by their presence that they fully believe it's in the will of God that the two of them become united as one. So we're here this day for them to take their vows, not simply before us, but primarily before our Heavenly Father. On behalf of Cody and Danica, I want to say thank you for being here. You came at their invitation, and your presence symbolizes your love for them as well as your support for their future together. Each of you has blessed and enriched the lives of each one of them. You've been a friend, a guide, a mentor, a listening ear, a shoulder to cry on, and a partner in crime. You've cried with them in the tough times, rejoiced with them in the good. You've played a very significant role in their lives as single people, and you will play a very important part in their lives as a married couple. Your support is no longer for Cody or Danica. Your support now is for Cody and Danica. They are counting on, leaning into, and trusting your prayers and support as they begin the greatest adventure in life. Dear Lord, what a joy it is to celebrate this incredible day with two people so much in love and so much in love with you. Bless them now as they share their commitments to one another and to you. Most of all, may everything we do and say on this first day of Danica and Cody's marriage bring you glory and honor. Amen, amen. Ephesians 4, 2. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love watching you so sweetly carry out this scripture in Ephesians of being patient with one another and humble, caring about one another. Cody, you coming up and while Danica's working, you're making sure she has something to eat or just want to give her a hug to say good morning because you haven't seen her maybe that morning yet or the day before. Danica being so sweet, so kind, and having the opportunity of working with you so much and allowing those moments to evolve into like good conversations, trying to learn constantly how to love Cody so well, working through situations, um, and and just even you planning the wedding and Sean, where do I get mason jars and all the different things to plan such a special event for the two of you together. So I just wanted to encourage you guys to continue to have joy in your relationship ahead. Love is patient, love is kind and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant, does not act unbecomingly. It does not seek its own, is not provoked, does not take into account a wrong suffered, does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. It bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Love never fails. Every day you look back on this day, remember you're making these vows, not just to one another, certainly not to us, but primarily in front of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I want you to repeat these vows after me to the one you've chosen to be your wife. I, Cody, take you, Danica. I, Cody, take you, Danica. To be my wife. To be my wife. From this day onward. From this day onward. I pledge to you my love and my faith. I pledge to you my love, my love and my faith. <laughs> we will share all things together. We will share all things together. Whether we live in the lap of luxury. Whether we live in the lap of luxury. Or don't have a penny to our name. Or don't have a penny to our name. When we are healthy. When we are healthy. And in times of sickness. And in times of sickness. I give myself up for you. I give myself up for you. I will protect and honor you. I will protect and honor you. I will be yours and yours alone. I will be yours and yours alone. Until Jesus calls us home. Until Jesus calls us home. I, Danica, take you, Cody. I, Danica, take you, Cody. To be my husband. To be my husband. From this day onward. From this day onward. I pledge to you my love and my faithfulness. I pledge to you my love and my faithfulness. Both in the good times. Both in the good times. And the tough ones. And the tough ones. I promise I will cherish you. I promise I will cherish you. Be proud of you. Be proud of you. And enjoy you. And enjoy you. I will offer a shoulder to cry on. I will offer a shoulder to cry on. And a heart that seeks to understand. And a heart that seeks to understand. I will pray for you and with you. I will pray for you and with you. I will be yours and yours alone. I will be yours and yours alone. Until Jesus calls us home. Until Jesus calls us home.
Now looking to heaven for God's divine approval, it is with great joy that I pronounce you husband and wife. Cody, you may kiss your bride. You know 